Hi everybody, this is Robert Greenstreet at Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we're going to do an updated version of how to use our new email signature templates. We've done uh, one that's been on our page for a little while and we had some specific questions that people were asking regarding the uh, clarity of the email signatures and why it would sometimes ask for a URL rather than letting you upload an image. We're going to address both of those questions in this video. Um, our first step is going to be to make sure that we are logged into Google. I'm on the Google homepage here and I can tell that I'm not logged in because it's showing me the sign in button right here. But just in case um, you're not sure about that button or maybe you're on another Google product or you're somewhere else, we're going to go to accounts.google.com. And if it shows you the sign in page, that means that you're not logged in. If it shows you uh, some account options there, you would uh, you are signed in. So you're ready to go uh, starting to use our templates. I'm just going to sign into our dummy email here. There we go. Now I'm signed in. So if you were signed in and you went to accounts.google.com, it would show you this page right here. So that means that you are signed in. Next, we want to jump over to our website, scottleroymarketing.com. And in our menu, we're going to hover over KW Resources and then click on Templates. And it may ask you to log in. You're going to log in using your Market Center number. I'm just going to put one in that I know here. That's the one in Dayton. And on this page is where this video is going to show up. It's going to autoplay that video right now. It's the older version, and we are going to replace it with this version that we're recording right now. Under that, we've got the list of all of our different kinds of templates, and they are alphabetically sorted. So we're going to do email signatures right here. It's right after uh, underneath CMA agent flyers right now and just to the right of coming soon for listings. We're going to do email signatures. And what this will do is open up a Google Drive folder from us, and it's going to show you a preview of the different kinds of uh, templates that we've got here. We have postcard size templates. We have some uh, regular banner width templates. These are the ones that are just 1 through 11 here. We have some vertical email signatures, and we have some that are widescreen. They're like 16 by 9, like a uh, 1080p TV. They're uh, 16 by 9 pixels tall, or 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So I'm going to do one of the vertical email signatures. I just like this one right here. You can pick and open whichever one you want. Just double click it to open it. And since we are logged into Google, it's going to show that Google account up here in the top right. It shows that SLM import 1117. And this is going to show you the SLM version of this template. You're not going to get, be able to get access to our template. We need that to stay exactly like it is. But we're going to make a copy of the template into your Google Drive that you can edit uh, any, whenever you want. So you'll uh, be able to tell that this is the template by uh, seeing this view only button up here. So up in the top left underneath the title, we're going to click on file and then we're going to do make a copy. Right here it should be about the fifth one down. It's right above it adds my drive. We're going to make a copy. And you can name it anything you want. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as vertical email signature number three, or maybe add SLM to the beginning of it. And then in the second box here, you're choosing which of your drive folders to put it into. If you don't have any folders, it's just going to automatically go into Drive. If you have specific folders inside Google Drive and you know how to use that, you're welcome to put that in there. And then I'm going to tell it OK. So now what it's done is it's opened a new tab and it's opening my copy of the template rather than over here already open is the SLM copy of the template. You'll notice we've got this view only button here on the SLM copy and on my copy I have the full formatting toolbar up here. So we are going to close the SLM copy so that we don't get confused to where only my copy is open. And this one I can edit. I can change this text here. I can change that text. I can replace this picture if I wanted to. I can move it around, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to replace this with like Scott. And then I'm going to go over to this other text box here, put in our phone number, and you're going to put in Scott's email. And then this is obviously a picture of Scott, but you're not going to put your picture in here. So, or excuse me, you're not going to use Scott's picture. You're going to use your picture. So we're going to right click on this picture and we're going to replace image, hover over this here. And it's going to give you some options here. You can choose a picture out of your Google Drive or if you have it in Google Photos, you're welcome to do that. Or maybe if you've gotten the address from your Facebook uh, profile picture or Instagram, whatever, you can do that. I'm not going to show you how to do those. We're instead going to upload from the computer. And I'm going to go find a picture of Scott. And I believe this is essentially that same picture. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. 
So I've replaced the original picture with this new one of Scott. And so now I've got all my information updated. It's ready to go, ready to be put into my signature. There's not a place within the Google Slides window right here to tell this, put this into my email signature. You actually need to download it, convert it, and then upload it into your email signature. And I'm gonna take you through that process. Um, this is where one of the questions we had was, why is my signature blurry after I download it and upload it into my signature? It's because the uh, file download as, and we previously had shown you do JPEG or PNG, that's a, downloading it at a fairly low resolution, just 72 points per inch. We're actually going to do file download as PDF, which is gonna download it as the full high resolution. And um, that's gonna download it to our download folder here. Uh, your download folder may be different. You may have changed your settings, but it's typically gonna stick it into your downloads folder. So you do file, download as, and then you want a PDF. And then what we're gonna do is convert this PDF to a JPEG that can be uploaded into your email signature. So now that we've got that downloaded, I'm gonna open a new tab and I'm gonna to go to PDF number two, jpg.net, not .com, not .org, PDF number two, jpg.net, PDF number two, jpg.net. One more time, that's pdf number two, jpg.net. And you should see something very similar to this. Yours will probably have some ads down the sides and maybe across the top. I have an ad blocker turned on, but you should see this homepage right here. Over on the left, we're going to choose a PDF file. And I'm going to go to my downloads folder, and here is my uh, SLM vertical email signature number three dot PDF. That's the one that I just downloaded. So I'll choose that file, and over on the right in our quality drop down, we're going to do excellent 300 DPI. That's going to give it that rich, sharp uh, around the text where it's not fuzzy. Then we'll click on our blue convert PDF to JPEG. And then on this page, um, when you downloaded this. Uh, excuse me, the slideshow as the PDF, it downloaded both of these pages, both the actual signature and the instructions one, the instructions page. So if you ever have questions that aren't answered in the video, this should answer those questions as well. So it downloaded both of these pictures. This is page one, this is page two. When it converted them, it did them into their own individual images, page one and page two. We're going to download just page one. We don't want to download page two, and we don't want to download a zip archive of both pictures. We just want this download link for page one. So that's going to put that in my downloads folder again. So now I'm going to go over to Gmail, and up here in the top right, we're going to click on our settings gear right underneath our initial or our picture up here under the bell icon the settings gear, and then we're going to go to settings. And then on this page, almost at the bottom, here's the bottom section for vacation responder, but just above that, we have a spot here where we can put in an email signature. I'm going to put in a blank space just because it's always good to have a blank space between the body of your email and the signature. And then we're going to click on the insert image button. It always looks like mountains. Uh, sometimes it has a sun in the background, but this is kind of the universal icon for insert image. So we'll click on that. And you should see the options of My Drive, Upload, or Web Address URL. If all you see is Web Address URL, what we found is that it does that when you're logged into multiple Gmail accounts. So you'll actually want to go sign out of all of whatever, whatever other Gmail accounts that you're signed into and only sign into one Gmail account at a time in order to upload this signature. If that's a little bit too confusing for you, typically using a different browser that you're not signed into all of those accounts on, like I'm using Chrome here. If I were to use Firefox or maybe uh, Microsoft Edge or Safari, that will usually solve that problem as well because you're only signed into one G uh, Google account on that other browser that you don't typically use. Once you're signed into just one Gmail account, you're going to go to Upload this tab over here, and then we're going to select a file from our computer. And this is going to show me my downloads folder because that was the last place I uploaded from. And we're going to do what is that file? SLM vertical email signature number three, page 001.jpg. We want that .jpg image, not the .pdf. We need this image right here. Open that. And there we go. That's in my email signature. Some of you think that's a little bit big. Um, we kind of made them big on purpose to give you the option of making them smaller. Also, it makes them really noticeable. And you can, um, what's the word? 
It makes them really noticeable and your clients will definitely know who's emailing them and that's really what you want them to see. You can scale it down. It puts it in original size or large by default. Mine is original size right now. I'm just going to click on large and made it a good bit smaller. But you notice that text right there for the phone number and the email address is really hard to read because this signature was designed to be a lot bigger. So it's up to you how big you want to make that, which email signature you want to use. Once you've got it uploaded to your signature, you would just click on save down here, save changes. And then when you compose a new message, now you've got that email signature down there in the bottom. Um, if you guys have any questions about that, feel free to shoot us an email at support at scottleroymarketing.com. Hopefully this new version of the video will help answer those questions that we've been getting about that. Um, and thank you and have a great day.